Okay, so this is the Bison 701. Um, as you can see, you've got the strap, got a speed loader, and I put some BBs in it. You do get some, but I've used them because in a few months. Uh, and you've got some tinted goggles, which aren't that useful if you ask me. A little Allen key, which you use to change the hop up. And then you've got a little cheek crest. I will explain about the cheek crest in a minute because that's kind of. Yeah, it's pretty important that you do or don't use it because I'll explain in a minute. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Okay, so my bison didn't actually come with a manual. So, if I wanted to get the stock on, I had to figure it out for myself, which I did. And basically, if you come round on this side here, what we've got here is if you do this, just like that, and you can get the top cover. Now, so, sorry if it's awkward because I'm trying to hold it with my knees, which is really awkward. Yeah, so what you've got, you've got three screws. One here, one there, oh, one there. And you basically just have to screw it on with this. I couldn't get it very tight, but I'm sure you could probably do better, as mine have got puny arms. Um, then you've got actual hop-up, which is accessed here. You've got, you've got this bit here. What you do is you take a little Allen key... I will just get that and you slot it into the top uh, just like that then you can twist it one way or the other and that adjusts the hop up uh, I figured that out because again no manual so yeah and that's how you cock it um, also this makes it good for like maintenance and whatever although I don't really bother with that because I'm not exactly a technician or anything so I would probably break my gun so yeah I'm not going to bother doing that it's already a pretty decent gun um, I have adjusted the hop-up, just because. And then also on this side, you've got your safety. Not fire safety, it's just down, up. That's it. Um, so yeah, I will now load Le Magazine, which you get out by just pressing on this. And pulling forward from the back. So yeah, I'll show you how to load that now. Well, it's pretty simple. But yeah. Okay, magazine. It holds... 30 rounds only. Basically, you just get this with it. So you just do that. Place it on it. Do that a few times. So, I'm just gonna like do that without holding the camera. Which is easier. Okay, so I'm just gonna like shoot this really. Target 1. Now, and I'll take a picture of that and then you can have a look at it on my blog. So, yeah. Um, this probably isn't terribly interesting, because I'm not really doing much, but yeah, there you go. Okay, so just like where my finger is, that's the target. Cock your gun. Put that down. I think I already did it, so I've now got two shots, which you can do. You can actually fire up to five at the same time, which I will show you probably in a different video of BB gun fun stuff. So yeah, safety off. Shoulder it, and... Lower left on the rings though. No. Upper left, just out. Actually, I might show you the five shot today. Sorry if we can't hear me properly, but there is a lot of wind. Even though I am kind of talking louder than I did in my last vid. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty much my fault because I'm wavering it about, and there is a lot of wind again. And I use 0.12 grams. Okay, so I've sort of moved the camera forward a lot, so I'm going to run back to the bison, and I will fire at the target with the five shot thing and other stuff. Um, I'm a bit worried about the camera because the shots go all over the place and ricochet like heck. Um, but yeah, so I sort of put it here so you can actually see what happens.
Okay, so I basically fired off five shots, then fired off three individual shots, then two shots, which were actually pretty accurate, and then I fired off three shots, which just hit the bottom and went all over the place. Um, but yeah, don't tilt the gun forward if you do do that, because they will probably fall out, because it basically pushes them out of the chamber into the barrel. So basically, don't aim down. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to like move the camera back just so you can like sort of see them. I don't know if you can on this camera, but I'll hope. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I got a little cheek rest thing. Um, I'm going to show you how to put it on. I'm pretty sure you can probably figure it out. So, got your stock, a little notch here. You clip it in just behind it. So, undo it like that. And you just sort of push it on. Bring this around. So what would you do with one hand? Yep. And bring it. Ah! Come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> Dropped it. Um, come on, let me see if it will do what I want it to. There you go. It's basically bring it around and clip it on, then it sits on it like that. But the thing about it um, is this it's not for use with the iron sights. If you use it with the iron sights, your eye is actually going to be too high up to effectively use them. You could probably get away with it. I can just about manage it, but it's pretty tough to do. Um, this is for if you get a scope which mounts on the side here because um, you don't actually want to use this if you're only going to use your iron sights because um, the idea of it is that with an actual Roganov you would be able to use the iron sights underneath the scope because the scope mount would keep it above it so you could just take that off and use your iron sights for closer range engagements um, but as I don't have a scope I do not want it on so I'm just going to take that off now because it actually gets your eyes too high up, and I have iron sights, because I like iron sights, they're awesome. Um, don't, I, I really wouldn't bother adjusting these, I would just adjust the hop up. But in the field, I suppose it would be easier to adjust the sight, but it goes up in hundreds of meters, and you're really not going to need it, so I can't see much point in this, because it's not like I'm able to shoot to 1200 meters with a BB gun, It could just about make 50 with this hop, which I'm just adjusting. Um, I think the front eye sight is meant to be adjustable, but you don't get anything to adjust it with. So, yeah. Overall, though, I've got to say, this is actually a pretty decent gun. Uh, it's quite weighty. The stock actually weighs more than the actual gun, which I didn't expect. Um, and the cocking handle is quite tough to start with, but it gets easier. Oh, I have run out of shots completely. Um, the safety is pretty basic, it's just quite simply fire safe. Um, magazine, press and forward, and then to get it in front and then back. Um, so yeah, there you go. And the strap, you got a little clip bit there. That's the front bit. And to the back, there is a little gap with a little post which this goes on. I tied it on to start with, but then I got annoyed with it because they always come like that, so I just basically shoved it through the buckle bit. Um, and yeah, there you go. Lay Bison 701 SVD. I think just BB guns put it up to 58 quid now, um, purely because they can sell loads of them. So I would not buy it off them. I would look around for a cheaper deal. It's the same, but although I can't say I would trust BB guns for less, which is where I got it from, it's the same gun, should come with the same stuff. If it doesn't work, send it back, or you're not happy with the stuff, then send it back unless it's not covered by warranty, which case they will say. But yeah, it's actually a pretty decent gun. Um, don't know how far the barrel comes up, I think it probably comes up to about here, and it stops. So it's actually got a very long arms barrel. But equally, you could just buy off just BB guns an SA80, which they've reduced to 30 quid. And it's got the same length barrel, it is just shorter because of the ballpark design. You've got the clip there. So, yeah, I would like to get one of those if I can, just because I like SA80s and I am an air cadet and I can go shooting with them and I want to just get the feel of an SA80. Well, technically, it's an L98A2. 
but yeah, you, it's is an SA80. So yeah, um, but yeah. There you go. Hope you enjoy. Uh, oh, but yeah, these little goggles. Um, these are actually pretty awful. They're all right, but they're tinted, and the tint just makes it darker and a little bit harder to shoot with. I tried shooting with them when I first got this. Big no. Really quite bad. Um, so yeah, I would advise you to get your own one. I'm, I wouldn't wear these at a skirmish site because they want to shatter. Uh, this could probably crack them really easily. So I say, it can go through uh, an empty can out the other side. I basically cut one in half with repeatedly soothing. I think it's because I was bored and I had nothing better to do. Um, I might actually try shooting these. See what happens. Actually, I tell you what, if you think that's a good idea, comment, or don't, whatever. Um, if you do think it's a good idea and want to see how good these ones actually are, these cheap ones, let me know. Uh, just post a comment, and if, like, one person wants me to, I will make a video. Um, I will make videos for the rest of my airsoft guns later on, as I've got two others. Um, got the HSC, Block 17, actually got three others. Um, then I've got a little half size M16 which I bought, stock snaps off, but it's not that bad. I figured out it could fit a Nerf gun on the bottom rail, and I still have one. I decided I should do that. <laughs> I'll show you that, it's actually quite amusing, I've got to say. Uh, like a cheap grenade launcher for back garden battles. Just if you're short on cash and can't buy a hundred pound airsoft grenade launcher and CO2, I can't. So, yeah, I don't really want one anyway, so screw it. Um, and then I've got a little MP5 which you can get on just BB guns, which can't even go through paper at like one meter, but it's got one hell of a rate of fire and hurts if it hits. Um, probably gets off about 170 FPS, that's my best guess. So yeah, um, as I say, Bison 701, and this is John, for John's page of stuff. Uh, also, I've got a YouTube channel, so if you do want to just go on there and look at videos, because I might post some on there and not actually do anything with them, like, on my blog, but I probably will. Like, the gameplay vid, World of Tanks, if it works, but it keeps on saying it's a problem, and it won't load, and it's just being a total piece of electronic equipment. Um, but yeah, there you go, hope you enjoyed. If, uh, if I have missed anything, which you think I have, then tell me and I will make another video just with that included in it. Um, yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, you probably know how to use a speed loader. So I won't bother with that, actually. So yeah. There you go. Uh, I might consider making another shooting test video because it is pretty windy and it doesn't really show you the true accuracy. It can basically go... 50 meters if you really wanted it to on a non-windy day. I've got it so it could probably only go about 25 odd meters because my garden's not exactly that large and I'm using it in my garden. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, I will see ya later.